Yo guys, what is up? It is the night here, and today we're just be talking and sitting down talking about. Sorry about that light there, if it's bothering you. Um, anyways, you don't have to like watch it. There's no gameplay. I'm just do doing this real quick before I go into warp. Anyways, guys, Modern Warfare game just got announced today. Campaign wise, it looks really good. Captain Price is back, boys. Um, really, really excited. Um, yeah, it felt like an old gameplay. Look, it looks like from what uh, from what Charlie Ento said that it's a brand new series. It's nothing. It's not MW4. It's not a prequel. It's not a sequel. Or not a yeah. Um, and yeah, it's a whole new, entirely whole new game. So it's not going to be connected to any of the campaigns, from what I know. Um, so that's really interesting there. So yeah, so it's going to be really cool to see uh, what they do campaign wise. It looks really good. I'm not hyped for it. I'm excited. Um, because the campaign looks re re really good. I cannot wait to play a campaign. The game is finally a modern war type of gameplay. We, or game. We haven't gotten it since, uh, 2011, eight years now. Um, so it's been a long time. Everything's been in the future or in the past. Um, <clears throat> so I figured that's how it was going to be for this three-year cycle. And, uh, World War II, the, the past. Uh, BO4, uh, we thought we, 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 they were going to do a, a modern game, but it wouldn't make sense for Infinite Warfare to do two futuristic games. So, BO4 was uh, futuristic, like 2040, I think. Um, and then uh, MW, um, Modern Warfare, um, which is a present type of shooter from what we see. It looks like it's based in Afghanistan slash Iraq. Or, so, yeah, that's going to be really uh, cool to see. Uh, obviously, it's the first it's a campaign trailer, so... Multiplayer, we won't know for a couple of months, probably in June or July, more than likely July round. I think E3 is in July, I'm pretty sure, don't quote me on it. Um, one new gaming mechanic that I saw, and I'm going to have a photo up on the screen, is when he's shooting at the car. Could just be nothing, could just be uh, special uh, cool looks for the game, but when he's behind the car and he's shooting and you're like, for, like very first person, like you lean over and shoot, it could bring the leaning aspect back from Ghost. I don't know. That's just something that I uh, saw. So um, maybe y'all saw that too and thought, oh, hey, they're bringing a new feature or an old feature back. Um, that's just the one thing that stuck out to me the, the most. It just, the campaign looks really good. Um, going black. <laughs> um, yeah, it, it looks really good. Um, I'm excited for the campaign. Um, multiplayer and stuff. Listen, I, I'm a COD freak. That's why I'm doing this now before I go to work. I'm a COD freak. I love COD. Um, always have and always will. No matter how bad the game, um, the only game that I didn't really stick around was IW. That was probably the worst game I've ever played. Um, yeah, other than that, I play the game that's present. i um, excited. My brother um, just got off the phone with him. He's actually pretty excited for, for the game. He hasn't been a COD. He's, his last COD he played that he loved was AW. That was a long time ago. That was like about 2014, I think. So, six years. It's been six, uh, yeah, no. Five years, sorry. Five years. And, uh, yeah. So we're, he's pretty excited about the campaign wise multiplayer, hopefully. I don't know. Once the months come out, we'll start playing MWR, MW2, MW3. So it's going to be really fun to watch and play. Um, yeah, the hype is real. Not the hype, the excitement is real. I'm, I'm not going to say hype until multiplayer gets revealed and other things. And hopefully, Spec Ops. Hopefully, it's not another zombie. We've, we've had zombies since 2012 it's been we've had zombies since 2012 and aliens one year but zombies aliens it's the same damn thing um so we haven't had spec ops since 2011 also eight years um yeah that's 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 basically it just all my quick thoughts into this video um you know so yeah i'm pretty uh, excited we're gonna keep uh Gonna keep playing, gonna keep grinding. I'm um, gonna have to kind of throw the campaign trailer behind me because if I keep thinking about it, I'm gonna get too hyped for it or too excited. And uh, yeah, then I'm gonna get let down like we have this year with uh, Black Ops 4. <clears throat> but hopefully it's good. I'm always hoping, always, always hoping. That's what we want, right? We want, they say they're rebooting it. It's crossplay is confirmed. Um, so I'm assuming no exclusives. Um, so we, I'll be able to play with my PlayStation 4 friends, and my PlayStation 4 friends will be able to play with my PlayStation or with my Xbox One. I just bought a PlayStation 4, so I feel stupid. Um, but I'm assuming it's gonna be on the new uh, consoles too that are coming on PlayStation 5 and Xbox Two or something. 
I don't know. The graphics look insane. They look really good. But then again, campaign uh, cutscenes always look, uh, look good. Not uh, actual gameplay. Even though it says actual gameplay, it's just cutscenes. Um, so, yeah, cutscenes always look fantastic. They've been looking good since the new gen consoles came out. But anyways, even old gen, actually. Halo 4, I think, was the last one that was that looked really good. And cutscenes. Anyways, guys. Um... Yeah, I'm um, gonna keep streaming Twitch, YouTube, or Twitch, Twitter, Snapchat, everything linked down below. And as guys, it's the night here. Um, thank you for watching, like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see y'all next time. See you.